We're butt buddies. We <laughs> My goodness. How you doing, kiddo? Nice to meet you. I apologize for everything. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mike MGTV. And today we're doing something special, something different, something nobody asked for, but everybody wants. How'd you get in here? Just come in here and touch me. How did you get into my house? Hi. <laughs> I broke in. Be careful what you touch. Today we're gonna be reacting to Greg from How to Drink, reacting to me, reacting to Greg from How to Drink. I'm gonna need a drink. <laughs> wow, do it. Whoa, 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 that's made of glass, man. Let me just make, did you turn your mic on? Yeah, you did. So, here, here, whoa, stop, stop, I need the thing back. Chase me, chase me. All right, <laughs> seriously now. Oh, I'll take that one, that's the hard one. <laughs> You, you think I'm afraid of something that's hard? Ah, you're such an asshole. <laughs> Here, put that I in can hand. be. Watch. Take that. Put it in your hand before it tempers. Okay, watch what I'm doing right here. See this? See how your hand... Look at this. Parallel to the ground. Okay. Parallel to the ground. Wait, right? wait. Rub it a little more. Uh, just put the spoon parallel to the ground. Okay. Now, bring it up. Don't move anything but your wrist, right? And then bring it down. Centered on the spoon. <laughs> You broke my bars. Okay. So if you really want to know the answer. I got it from here, baby. It's your channel. <laughs> and I do need a drink because today here on Mike MG TV, we're going to react to Mike reacting to me to reacting to you. This is so meta. Or I can't believe that that's happening because I react to people all the time. And for the most part, I think they're never going to see it. I like talk shit and say the most crude, disgusting things about people thinking they're never going to know. Not only have I seen it, my daughter has seen it <laughs> and there's hell to pay. Where's your wife? Uh, she's... The amount of times I've had to ask grown men that question is insane. You understand? <laughs> I would imagine it's usually in a much more concerned tone though. Where is your wife? Well, it's usually when they're full of my cum. Yeah, by that point, it's already, the damage is done. Oh God, yeah, there's a different tone on this video already. Yeah, we did one on my channel. It's a little nicer. You guys gotta go see the video we just did on Greg's channel. We're a little drunk from it. I'll put a link in the description below. First of all, oh, get enough. rid you're, of this. Not on my channel. You're talking. Use your, no, no, no bar spoons. No bar Use spoons. your finger like a man. Go over to Greg's channel and check out the video we made before this. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm saying that in the be I know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I know what I'm doing. I've been around the block. I licked everything in here, so it's mine now. You think that gift fucking affects me? I'm influencing. Do you see that? <laughs> and yet I can't get a brand deal to save my life. I used to hang out at a goth club called Sham, for, called Nocturne, where we all ground up on each wait, other. Wait, Nocturne or Nocturnal? Nocturne. Nocturne. Okay. Nocturne. Wait, wait, you were goth? Goth as fuck, motherfucker. No, you weren't. First yeah. of all, this accent work, I'm screaming. <laughs> it's insane to me. There's a picture. There's a Greg in goth. Picture. Are you serious? It's a, not a great send picture. It to me, Meredith? It's, there are better. I wish. I, it's in an episode somewhere. There, I wish there were better pictures because it's not the best. You guys it's know I middle. scream at people when there's no one on set with me. Meredith! <laughs> Try to find you! I, I need you to get shirt. somebody that can do the fucking thing. <laughs> do you want me to get you a when producer? We were on, when we were on yes! Set. Yes! I scream at nobody all the time! And everything looks good to I gotta stop screaming right here right now. I'm a screamer. Mm. I'm sorry. So, Greg, I'm gonna let you pick out which videos you want to react to. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be the ones about you. Or with you in it. There's two I made about you. Uh, I, I was looking at your thumbnails. It seems like I'm in a few of them. Well, cause sometimes I just use your face for clout. <laughs> I honestly, I encourage that. Just do that. If you want to use my face for clout, go nuts. It just puts me out there. Yes. It's just good. You know because. what? If you want to throw me up in the info card <laughs> and uh, just throw a little link back, it's fine. Yeah. I'd love to be, I'm a meme. They made me into a meme. You're a meme? I First of all, so am I. Ooh, right? I'm a Dungeons and Dragons meme. I'm nothing but trash. That's my meme. Oh shit. <laughs> There's no such thing as bad publicity. The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Yes. And that is the, one of the gayest pieces of information I have because it's something Dorothy Parker said. That's also why I continue <laughs> to be a slut because everybody would still talk about me. Okay. Also, as Jinx Monsoon said, when you stop- <laughs> Just so we know, the reaction around the room indicates to me that my gay, my gay trivia is about 60 years out of date. <laughs> I let it slide. I was like, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like the farthest back I go with Lucille Ball. Fair well, Dorothy Parker, like contemporary. Who the fuck is Dorothy? No, I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna she ask. She was a explain it. Writer for thirty minutes. She was a writer and a. And she was the matron of the Algonquin Round Table. And okay, fair enough. So, Greg, why don't you pick out some videos? You tell them why you're gonna pick out that video, and then I'll let you react to it. And I'm gonna react to you, reacting to me, reacting to you. Well, I'm gonna pick out this video because it's the it's one of the ones I'm in. This is also you know this is nuts. I have a white screen and a desk that folds. But think about how many more things you could have if you could build them. Okay, that's homophobic somehow. <laughs> I was about to say that one of the handiest people I've ever known in my life was gay, but then I remembered, no, oh, she's a lesbian, though. It's a different thing. I was just like, it's homophobic to you. We <laughs> What is that? I love that we, listen, we serve a great drink, but sometimes some of the ingredients might have been in our ass at some point. At some point. At some point. At some point. And, I, and that, smile. Thumbnail. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Greg is gonna pick the videos. I'm we trying to. We have time. Yeah, yeah, we have time. I'm just trying. I'm just gonna let you talk because I, here's the thing, and this is not a joke. I don't remember what I said. So I'm gonna do something very hard for me. I'm gonna try to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you just react and I'm gonna react to you. Well, you're gonna get a lot of shit. I hear you. You're screaming. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back okay. to another episode of Mike MGTV. <laughs> okay, listen. Okay, that's a lot of skin. Do you think that's appropriate? Yes. <laughs> Look, I was trying to attract the male gaze and apparently it worked. So I don't know what the fuck. What was the negative? Was that Z? Shit. Male, Shit. Is that. Is that... <laughs> but there's one person that you all unanimously want me to talk about. Okay, I see it. I see it, I have eyes. Everyone wants me to check out How to Drink on YouTube. Like, I don't know who that is. I know who they are. I haven't really watched their <laughs> content. So I am excited. <laughs> Yeah, that was lovely. Who the fuck I was, are you? I just want to back it up and ask. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see that again because that was lovely. That was lovely. That was, you did that. That was lovely work. I. That's really good. Did you do that in After Effects? Yes. You did it in After Effects. Yes, I did. Final cut. No, After Effects. Just Final cut. Okay. No, I like the little bounce. Yes, that's I have a master's nice. degree. You have a master's degree too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You spent so much money. <laughs> I would never <laughs> presume to touch your hair without oh, permission. By the way, that little clip, if one of you motherfuckers to make a gif about that, I'm quitting the internet. <laughs> I'm so pissed. Because that's a gif. I give you gold. He's better at this than me. It's true. <laughs> Are you flossing? People say I'm old. What the fuck? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they have two fall Thanksgiving themed cocktails. And if he's anything like I think he's gonna be, they should taste great and be easy to make. So I'll react to him and the process of him making true. the drink and I'll actually make the drink. I don't do this for everybody. Just the people I wanna, you know, impress. Just the people that I already know are better than me. <laughs> because- Why would you say that about yourself? Because I'm- What do you mean? <sighs> what do you mean? You don't need to do that. Proofs in the You know that all, I'm better than you. Don't ever touch me. No. Nobody's better than you. Really? That's not a nice thing to say about yourself. Let me tell you what my grandmother taught me. Okay. This is not my drag queen grandmother. Okay. My, my grandmother who isn't a burlesque uh, dancer, the yeah. one who owned a makeup empire. Uh-huh. She would say, nobody is better than you so much. until they prove that they're worse than you well, no that's what, you know i will say this whenever someone <laughs> tells me to like be funny i say okay be funnier than me yeah whenever someone says i'm not good looking or something like that okay be better looking like on twitter on like reality do TV, it better if someone says that's i'm right. ugly i screenshot their photo and reply with it that's right like who are you talking to <laughs> are you talking? Me? she was a bit of a bitch <laughs> here's the thing i have confidence I don't want to appear like I have arrogance, because I don't. No, and then, It's more like I kind of got used to like setting the bar low. This was supposed to be funny and it got very serious. I know it did. <laughs> and I hope you know every time you go on one of these tangents, there will be the music playing over it. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, cheers to that. If I already know the drink is gonna be good, of course I wanna try it. So that's what we're doing today. Before we get into it, let me remind you guys now to subscribe if you haven't. My name is Mike, I'm a globally disgraced bard. Let me remind you guys to subscribe. Zip, zip, zip. Fuck you. Yes, I should have shut up. That was a very expensive offer. You just gave me, I should have shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, 
right, so let's check him out. So the first drink we're gonna react to is his Thanksgiving cobbler. We can freely roast the way I used to look. You used to? Well done. Well done. Without prompting. Come on, dude. That's basically a chin strap beard. Hey, the beard is different. The beard is different. No, the thing, you, you've lost weight. Well, that's true. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. I'm also, my hair is thinned. Really? Oh, yeah. You know I went to Turkey. Look at this. Look at this. I asked you for advice about it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually being put under terrifies me. Really? Terrifies um, me. I say that when someone offers me drugs, I say, yes! I'm too afraid. I, I have an existential crisis about it. No. Call me Evanescence, bitch, because I'm going under. <laughs> Gothgred weeps along oh, with you. See? Gothgred. We are one minute Dude, in! I used to, I used to go to Nocturne wearing a black straight jacket with white dye in my hair and goggles. Oh. And uh, safety pins in my elbows and uh, like combat boots and shit. I was a little bit of a rivet head. Combat boots? Yeah, like old combat boots. Greg, let me cut you and, off right there because and, if you go, you and start bondage anymore, pants. You're gonna, you're gonna combat bitch. I have never been a professional bartender. Well, I've never. I don't know you know what a rivet head is. I was a little bit of a rivet head. I was into the industrial scene. Tell me more. We had a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> I was very bad at meeting girls. You want to tell me about that? Not really. <laughs> I just like to dance. <laughs> True. I think I was probably the only person in that room not on Molly. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Please, test fly. I'm gonna shit my pants. I was my... all natural until lights on, just like pounding away. Greg agrees with me. Now I feel like I know what I'm talking about. You don't have to know all the fancy shit. You don't you have don't. to think too much about it. At you the don't. end of the day, as long as the drink tastes good and you're happy, then shut the fuck up. Philosophically, I believe that thinking is the enemy. Tell me about it. I think you should just sit on a beach and enjoy sunsets and drink. I agree. And that, you know what, the cocktail, you know what matters more about how it tastes? How it makes you feel. Yeah. Where you're having it. That's oh. what matters more. Yes. Yes. Give me a garbage pina colada on a beach in Key West, and I'm happier than shit. Key West? Yeah, I love Key, Key West. I just don't like Florida. It's very gay. I know. It's very <laughs> gay. I know. If any place in Florida gets a pass, it's Key West. Yeah. They tried to legislate the city out of existence while I was there last time. I'm obsessed with that. Yes. You guys have thing I don't understand. If you want to the get at the gays, don't talk about us. If you're talking about us, not only that, talking about us bad? <laughs> oh, bitch, you wanna read the library? You wanna fight? Oh! Like, mama, I'm not paying attention. Like, the, you wanna piss us off, don't talk about us. But you're giving us attention? Are you dumb? Now we're just popo I was a you. theater kid, bitch! Yeah! You're coming at me. I've been training for this my whole <laughs> life. You wanna give me something new? Be nice, you fucking idiot. Oh. Oh my god, oh. you hear anybody? Are the oh. gays fighting Montana? <laughs> no. I don't even think they like us. I don't even think Montana likes us. But we're not fighting them because you know what? They're not giving us attention. There's not enough people in Montana ah. to like or dislike anything. When I leave LA, I want to go to Have Montana. Have you been to Key West? I have been to Key West. You I had my first it. grade birthday party at Hooters because my dad. That was is there. not the same as having been to Key West. Oh, no, it was at Key West. <laughs> have you been to Key West as an adult? No. You would like it. I had a sex party in Miami. Oh, you would like that too. I didn't like it. They gave me something and I fell asleep. What did they give you? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end that sentence there, but so I can still include it in the video. Let's move on. I want to drink with him, guys, girls. Tell him Mike MGTV said hi. Mm. <laughs> this recipe is very similar hi. to a Floridora. Hi, hi, hi. We've had drinks now. We'll make us a please. I don't even know what a Floridora is. I am the worst bartender in the entire world. I don't know what a Floridora is either. Validation. Validation. <laughs> Sounds lovely. How are we going to make this a Thanksgiving style? So I'm going to start by pouring a quarter ounce of gum syrup into my small tin. If you like it sweeter? Gum syrup. So, so regular simple syrup. Well, I could have, but at the time I had simple syrup with um, gum acacia in it, which made it gum syrup. So you included it because you just had it there? 
No, because it's a drink from the 1860s. I don't know what that means. And honestly, I should have said that because I was going to explain it. So, 1860s is a year. I see these kids on TikTok using sweet liquor with sweet soda and a full ounce of simple syrup. It makes me want to fuck those kids on TikTok. Yeah! I am attracted to this man. I have some fresh... Are you? Sometimes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. How much money do you have? Uh, right now, none. <laughs> So poor right now. Pack it I'm legit. Pack it up. Yeah. Pack it up. Pack it up. I, I Pack am. Pack it up. I'm out. <laughs> Take this fucking mic. I love that he's about to model them instead of just using cranberry juice. Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with cranberry juice, but for this, the cranberry juice would overpower it. We want just enough flavor from the cranberry to complement the overall drink. When I heard you say that, I thought, my God, this man knows more about drinks than me. I just did it because I was like, it's extra. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I was trying to sound smart. You were trying to sound smart? I, I was trying to sound <laughs> smart. I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. The whole world is built by white dudes trying to sound smart. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I, <laughs> when did you start building a cocktail? I did it while I was realizing I needed one. <laughs> I'm getting turned on. <laughs> were you really? Okay. <laughs> Were you really or did you just say that? I was. I left it. Do you think that's an appropriate thing to say on the internet? Why not? You, have you seen what I said on the internet? Look, <laughs> I see a nice guy knowing what he's talking about, Ooh. making a good cocktail. What's not to get turned on about? I'm nice. Who says I'm not turned on right now? I mean, are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Not a goddamn I, thing. Exactly. But I'll be flattered. There was a kid at our college who stated to everybody he knew that he was so good he could turn me that was his and i, remember, I hate that no i hate that i hate that I our hate teacher that. who had we had in common she said but greg that means he sees you as the paragon of straightness it's what true. a flattering statement no but also like if, if you're talking that was a big said game that. if you're talking a big game you may get because honestly he had a mental illness so and do I! This gentleman had a legit issue so, with pathological lying. This, this is the play button. I like felt that in my colon. Now, I... why would you say that? <laughs> why would you say, I, didn't make it back I the felt frame. that in my colon? Because I did. Okay, Greg? I felt it inside of me. Do you know that my daughter heard you say that? Do you know? Good. I want her to know. Yeah. I'm like that woman in Game of Thrones. I want them to know it was me. You let your water daughter watch an unvetted thing on YouTube. I'll tell you, you know what? <laughs> I fucked up. It says not for kids. It says it. I just thought, I don't know what I thought. Thank God. I didn't see it. I didn't see it going there. I didn't think you were going to. Look, man, not a goddamn thing in the world would have prepared me for the idea that you were going to bring up a stranger's colon on the internet. I'm not sure, just my own. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you want listen. You want to get familiar with it right now? You're more than welcome to. There are other colons I prefer. True. <laughs> this is a lot like a Florador, which is named for a 80s, 90s so musical that so was about showgirls, wild, I like party, no sexy time. time. I'll give you all of that, Daddy. And this is a drink that I would double strain because. I don't even know what he said. <laughs> I believe the words you spoke were, I will give you all of that, daddy. I will. Not a lie was uttered. I said I would, I didn't say I, I said I would. Did I say will or would? Is there a fucking difference? Yes, because will has intent and I need consent before I do anything. I think you're One way or another. <laughs> she is my aunt and uncle's neighbor. Work. She doesn't live far from here. You know what that is? A fact we don't need. You're right. Uh, this isn't a very expensive champagne. I think I got this for $7. It doesn't need to be. If you're just topping a cocktail with champagne, you don't need to get expensive champagne. People in my comments love to point out that I use cheap champagne when I'm just pouring it on top of a cocktail. What do you think I am, the James Charles of alcohol? It's just gonna make your cocktail sparkling. Don't waste good champagne as a topper. It is, it is. One, I totally agree. Thank you. Two, how did you not make a joke about topping it? I think at that point I've already made it clear. You haven't! It's not there! The people want it! Okay, do I look like somebody who invests a lot of time into topping? I don't know. I genuinely don't. I am, I, mean, I am like, actually. I wouldn't be able to tell you. The I thing is, not. I'm more of a top, but people like me more as a 
like if I play a bot of my people because I have a nice butt. Oh. You commented on it, and his camera wasn't rolling. This is he true. made a comment about my butt. My he said, friend. how much do you squat? And I couldn't get around it. And I said, is the camera rolling? He's like, no. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> this is legitimately true. I... <laughs> I will quote myself. I tried to sneak by him and I said, God damn, man, what you squat felt like I was brushing past solid steel. Do you understand how weird that is? Like a year ago, here I am talking shit about this stranger. A year later, he's talking, he's talking about my ass in his set. Where is this? To talk about asses in a basement in New Jersey. Look at it. I want to lick it. <laughs> It looks so good. So I'm so high. excited. Float a few cranberries on the top because they float. The it's the so holidays. Rotten. Okay. <laughs> they got so rotten. I just used them for this video and then they got so rotten because they were there for months. Dude, we throw away so much shit. And like people are always like, what are you going to do with that when you finish it? I hope you didn't throw it away. I'm like, yeah, I flushed it down the goddamn toilet because what am I going to do with eight gallons of fucking champagne? I made a space fish tank cocktail for $487. It went right in the sink. I believe truly deeply in my heart that the world needs stupid and weird things that are wonderful. Me too. Enough of this trying too hard. I want something dumb. I really just want something dumb. When I go on the internet, I just want dumb. I want what we had growing up. Like the stupidest shit. Remember that sh What's that girl, Kelly, who used to sing about shoes? <laughs> My wife and I quote that all the time. Yeah, it's, Let's that's get them. Or muffins. Like whoever that was, where are they? Con Come back. We don't have condoms in my house. We have condams. Condams. Because the show. Condam. You want to know what ruined the internet? Why me? Because people used to put stuff on the internet without giving a shit. They were like, this is dumb but hysterical. And now people are so worried about marketing it's and true. budgets and money and this. Thanks for having me. Meredith's gotta eat. All of our editors gotta eat. My Don't children's gotta eat. Yell at Meredith. She's pregnant and a lesbian. She's a presbian. <laughs> I'm just, I'm li literally, I'm gonna say yes to whatever the fuck this man tells me. Well, this drink is very good. I bet. Let's fucking make it. I'm gonna try to be professional as fuck for Greg. <laughs> I even got a cutting board. I got a cutting board, I Greg. Oh, this I got a cutting board for you. I bought that on Amazon and waited for to it for a ride. I don't want to fuck with you, but man, is that a marble bolt plank? Plank? That's a marble board. Yeah. That's a terrible cutting board. Oh, no! It's bad for your knives. The cutting board itself is gonna absorb all kinds of ink. Do you use a wood cutting board? I use a. Do you know um, these we throw composite. away in the actual industry? For sure. These are these are serving boards. This is a presentation board. Shit. Yes. It's a server board. <laughs> I was about to come back. I upstairs I've got composite boards made from wood pulp and composite glue. That's the way to do it. That's the way that I learned it from. Uh, I can't remember the name of that chef. <laughs> He's so mad, he can't remember it. He's like, I didn't finish the historical reference. So, for reals? For reals? For reals? You want to fuck with me? I have a proper noun aphasia. Go ahead. I have a blockage in my brain. We both drank from that beer all day long. And uh, I have difficulty accessing proper nouns. Okay. My grandmother, the burlesque dancer, had it. Yeah. My daughter has it. Okay. It's a thing with... <laughs> our neurological buildup. We're broken people. I am broken too. You know what I have? What you got? Gonorrhea. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our cranberries and add them into our shaker because then we're gonna muddle them. And again, we're doing this instead of using cranberry juice because cranberry juice is very sweet and very strong and it would probably overpower the cocktail. This is more of a light cranberry flavor and it's fresh, so. Bullshit. Oh, fuck that satisfying as shit. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Y'all hear that shit? This is all for you, Greg. It's all for you. <laughs> you always start off slow with a little bit of a twist, and then when it's nice and easy, I need ice. I even brought the. That's true. Do you know how your daughter with me? Uh, no. I shouldn't talk about your daughter. No, 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 no. It, um, honestly, no. Uh, you this can't. Got so you bad. can't make a baby in the butt. Well, then what have I been doing all these years? <laughs> Son. I want to introduce Sorry. you to Jesus over here. Something else is what you've been doing. Some kind of daddy fantasy just took over my life. I don't even know what happened. You see how we just went with that? Would you say it's like a prayer? Like a virgin. 
I only know like a surgeon. Touch I am a nerd. She's got a bacterial infection and they won't say what it is and I think it's a UTI because it makes her sound old and I won't let you hit play. <laughs> I don't want, I think they just don't want to say on the radio that Madonna has a urinary tract infection. And hold it upside down for a three count. But it's fine, it's fine. We're going to swallow our pride. We're going to do it Greg's way. See how long this takes. See how much longer this takes to do annoying. I'm not a real bartender. I'm a pretend bartender. Which is even worse. Why are you doing this shit? Who has the time? Stop trying to put on for the camera. I'm going to tell you a real story. You want me to give you a real heart to heart now? I don't want a story. A short one. Fine. My wife and I got engaged. We were in New York City. We said, let's go out for drinks. We went to a place. I didn't really like it. And I said, you know, I've heard of a place around here called Milk and Honey. And it's secret. And I said, I think we're right a few blocks. We're like, this place sucks. Let's go walk by and see if we can get in. We got in. I met Sam Ross, the head bartender at Milk and Honey at the time. Sam Ross is a bit of a name drop Don't in the Sam bar Ross world. Is. He's a very fucking serious bartender. Don't know who he is. And I got to sit at the bar on my, uh, the night that we got engaged. And it changed my life. This is the night that How to Drink was born. And I looked at him and I said, man, it makes me feel good because you're using a jigger the way, same way I would. And he looked at me, and this is like honestly one of the world's greatest bartenders. Like, so he, he taught you how to waste your time? Sam Ross is top notch. And he said, shit. you know why I use a jigger? Yeah, because I'm not good enough not to. That's, okay, facts. The man is the greatest bartender on earth. And he said to me, I'm not good enough not to. And I said, <gasps> I am. From that drink. How to Drink was born. He, well, I love that for you. He's also modest. That's ridiculous. I think I love that for you is one of the most underhanded, condescending things a person can say. I love that journey. <laughs> I love that journey for you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'll just go print out my emails and die. I love that for you is the gay, bless her heart. It is, it is. Or in the Canadian, you're so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. It's pink. Look at her. Now, Greg didn't put ice in the cocktail. We're gonna listen to Greg. We do need that strainer, though. Where the fuck did I put that strainer? I know. I bought it. I can do this. I'm gonna harness my veg. There's a fly in my simple syrup. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid fly. I'm gonna harness. There's flies on how to drink all the time. Oh my god, because if you don't cock this shit properly, they come in here. Ants. Ant ants? We got Bugs spiders. We got spiders? spiders! We got so many woodlouse spiders up in here. They come up in my bed at night and they bite me when I'm sleeping. That's true. What? Wait, wait, okay. I, no, I don't want to ask. I want to know. I, I wake up in ask. the middle no, of the night. I do ask. Mike, Mike, I want you to picture it. You're asleep. You're asleep. <laughs> You're dead asleep. And all of a sudden, you feel it. Ah! No, you don't. No, no, no. That's happened many times. No way. The spiders. No way. The you feel like six scary like that? No, not scary. Factually, they bite you in your sleep and they leave you with a spider bite. But you feel and you it slam like them. You feel like that? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. You wake the fuck up when a fucking woodlouse spider bites you. Now, the thing about a woodlouse spider. What is, I don't even know what a woodlouse. No, I didn't want to say that. Meredith, press the button. No, I have the button. I'm gonna tell you about the spiders. You don't need to double strain it. We don't need to double strain it. I have a globally disgraced televised bartender who can do this. Or at least I hope so. Let's find out. No, I already fucked up. <laughs> well, let's do this. Hold on. Do you cycle? Cause you look fucking great. Cycle? Like drugs? Yeah. No. Fucking phenomenal. No, this guy's all natural. I just got hair transplant stuff, so I can't. <laughs> That's a very different. It's proof it depends. I can't. I can't be on steroids. Because... Yeah, but you just got the fucking hair transplant. <laughs> you know, somebody once said to me, "You know, Hollywood's not the Olympics, right? They don't drug test you when you come to set." And I was like, "Oh, oh everyone's on drugs. Every, never so every, everyone is on yeah. drugs." Let's finish this. I think we're. I think there's two. We will never finish this. I video. know we will never. We're only gonna. We were gonna do three videos. Oh, I was gonna say, who gives? We were, we were gonna do three. We're doing one out of half. <laughs> yes. You can make this into a two-parter. It'll be fine. I'm exhausted. Shut the fuck up. There we go, baby, <laughs> motherfucker. Look, we're doing it. Okay, there, we're strained. You know what else is strained? Guilty. My mind. I'm exhausted. It fizzles over in his video, too. It fizzles over in his video, too. Yes, I'm just doing yeah. what he did in his video. Suck it. Yes, that's the right one. Okay, move. now it's that's time to float video, on some cranberries. We're going to get silly with it, as Greg said. Woo! We're going to get silly, get silly with it. I'm, I could chug this whole thing right now. I am so glad I, I strained it, though. Was it good? It was delicious. I made that drink one time in my life. It was delicious. It was good? It was good. Cool. We have we I go into a whole nother cocktail, but you know what? I think we're good. Is it one of mine? 
it, it. <laughs> Do you want to stop because it gets too weird? No. Just Are because you the next lying? one. No, because the next one's not as good. It's, I, I do the same thing. It was just like. Go ahead, let's play it. Are you lying? No. Mike? Oh. No, I'm just so hungry. <laughs> what are we going to have for dinner, Michael? This pussy, babe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is your of... wife going to be home soon? Spike cider I could drink throughout all winter. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy oh, Thanksgiving. God. Happy Thanksgiving. Greg. No, Greg. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. See how you can see the top of the deer's antlers? Yes. Because it's a different sensor. It's a different camera. Oh, shit. Was that, even, that wasn't even this room. Was it, it is this room. It's the same room? Same room, different camera. Same room, different camera. That's a micro four-thirds camera we were used to be shooting on a monster. You no know, one camera. here knows what the fuck that means. Somebody knows. I'm like a child. I shouldn't be using the stove, Greg. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lemon and I'm going to slice it. What I really just want is like one slice of lemon, about a quarter inch thick. How did I arrive at this recipe? I don't know. So we're not adding in lemon juice. We're just adding in a slice of a lemon. So we're not adding in a new component. We're just flavoring the apple cider that's already in the pot. Because when you boil Correct. it, you're going to get the flavors. OK, OK, I'm learning. For me, the secret ingredient is a star anise pot. This has got a very licorice flavor. A what? There are spices I've literally never heard of. <laughs> and I'm going to take one clove. Um, clove is optional, for sure. Uh, one clove? Are these spices... Do you know what Le Pan Quotidien is? Excuse me, if you're gonna sneeze at me like that. Uh, Le Pan Quotidien is a chain of restaurants, like Quix, not Quix, sir, but like a chain in New York. You know of them? No. Belgian, French, kind of like Quickish restaurant. Oh my god, what is it? It's a Cacio e Pepe. Cacio e Pepe? Yeah. Is no, it, it's is not. It the, it's, it's probably like that, though. Le Pan Quotidien. What means our... Wait, wait, wait. Do that again. Le pain quotidien. No, the, yeah, that. Yeah, see, don't cover the tongue. You know exactly what I was asking to read. Le pain quotidien. It's like, it means our daily bread. And it's a, um, it's a. I, I get bread daily. Yeah, that tastes like what I want that to taste like. How do you know? I have real questions for people that could just taste something and know a huge difference. Can you really taste, like, minor details in spices? Does my mouth. Do you want me to tell you the answer to this question? When I was started the show, I didn't do tasting notes. Okay. And somebody said, you should tell us what it tastes like. Okay. And my first thought was, I don't fucking know how to do that. You didn't know the same. I don't, I don't know how, how to do, do that. that. And somebody so, said to me, and I forget where it was, but somebody said, get yourself a piece of classical music. Decide what instrument you're going to listen to. The oboe, okay. the clarinet, the timpani, whatever. Listen to the whole symphony, paying attention only to that instrument. Oh, that's very, that's very good. Yeah, it changed my life. You do that with taste. Is, once you do that with music, you can transpose that to taste. It that's changed my great fucking life. I never thought, I'm going to do that. It was a comment on the internet, so I don't know who told me that, but it changed my fucking life. I learned a lot from the comments. Yeah, for the comments, the comments know what they're doing. Yeah, well, 10% of them know what they're doing. 10% of them know what they're doing. 10% of the comments know what they're doing. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Have I had two old fashions? I also understand why he's using this measuring tool because probably aesthetically for the video, it makes sense. But in real life, in practicality, I will not be doing that because that is a waste of time. I'm just gonna hold it upside down and count to four. I'm gonna hold my strainer here because if that lemon or something drops in. I like what That's your shot. I know, I'm, I haven't seen it in you know, eight years, whatever. So I'm like, oh, cool I like it. We did cool, we did cool yeah. stuff there. Is that your version of me being like, look how my tits look like? My uh, chest looked so much better there. I was so much better looking there. Not at all. I was better I'm looking. standing there. right next to you. You look great. I know, and yet you do nothing about it. Yes. Another bit of this star anus. That's what that is? That's the anus? <laughs> I know it's anus. So here's the problem. Here's the thing. You've, you've stumbled into something. I don't know how to pronounce anise. It's, it's an anus. It... My children are here. We have to be good. <laughs> hey, is that No, 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 no. Let me see my Hi. Oh, my goodness. How you doing, Hi. kiddo? Hi. This is Mike. Mike. Hi. Nice to meet you. I apologize for everything. <laughs> you, you may not be want, you may want to not be in earshot of what we're shooting. Is it Greg? Or... We're about to fucking find out. <laughs> Let's go. I used to look like such a dork. What do you mean used to? This is a year ago. No, no, sir. That's like five years ago for me. Six years ago. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oops. I look at old pictures of myself and I think, God, I look like shit. No, I get better. 
Yeah, I get better too. I get so better. Okay, that's, so that's, that's uni- a man thing. That's universal to men. I didn't know if it was just for straight men. No, that's a man thing, and it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. We don't work that hard at it. Everyone's like, what do you do mm. for your skin? Soap. Nothing. Soap. I wash my face once a month. I see women that have like, I, see, I have a skincare routine. I'm like, amazing. No. You know, I was thinking about it before, and I think it's because like growing up, you know who you wanted to be? Indiana Jones. But I think they like all the dudes I admired and all the dudes I aspired to be were in their 40s. I wanted to be Thumbelina. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the apple cider while it simmers to flavor it with the spices. While that continues to heat up, I'm gonna cut another lemon wheel to garnish the cocktail when it's ready. And I know he used fancy bourbon on how to drink, but I'm gonna go ahead and use Bullet because yeah, Bullet is homophobic. Bullet is homophobic. They are, they have a situation with a non-binary dog person. I don't know what they are, just the comments told me they were homophobic. So I listened. They're out two ounces. We're not gonna do that with this one. We're gonna do what I know how to do and get our pour spout and count to four. One, two, three, four. Okay, two ounces. Wasn't that easy? So do you see how easy that was? I wanna know, is that how that works? Yeah, you, you do count, a four count Four for count, ounces. one ounce. <clears throat> four count, one ounce. Yes. It's a, it's, That's four count, That's one ounce. ounce. Okay. One, two, three, four, one ounce. That's supposed to be two ounces as well. No, that's right. Yeah, I just... That drinks two ounces. Well, you know what? It still counts. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So I don't know how to use whatever. those speed pours, but I do question their accuracy when I deal with things like Luxardo, which is a very thick and uh, okay, but syrupy see, that's liqueur. Pretentious. That's pretentious. Oh, it's pretentious as fuck. Wait, wait, do that again. I know. I know what I'm doing. Keep doing it. <laughs> Come on. I need, I need likes. Thank you so much. I'm done now. It's sensitive. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I almost fell with this boiling thing. Okay. It smells like really, really fucking good. I went ahead and got a ladle because I don't trust myself to pour this in straight from the pot. And you're just gonna. It looks like Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger coming in with a ladle. It's be like, yeah, I got the ladle and one ounce of it. It's like. Arnold Schwarzenegger, thank you so much. I smell like onion. You may I smell s- so bad. I smell so bad. What do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger smells like? You've only ever seen him in movies, but they don't have smell a vision. I bet you he smells like sunscreen and, <laughs> no, sunscreen, no, sun oil. Sun oil, that smell. Sun oil and potato chips. You know what? I got nothing to argue with. I think he's right. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I think okay. that's probably accurate. Mm-hmm. Are these drinks super complicated or anything overly impressive? No, but cocktails don't need to be. In my opinion, that's really not what makes drinking so enjoyable. Having a cocktail should be easy, stress relieving, and relaxing. Making the drink shouldn't stress you out. It should be relatively easy to produce a great outcome. We just did two great examples right here. In the comments down below. Okay, thank you, end of the video. I got three trues from Greg. Yeah, more than that. That means more than my 100,000 subscriber plaque that's been getting dust on my wall for the past two years. Ooh, and we still ain't at 200,000. We grow like an old man's boner over here, okay? He says, we did that until, you know, sometimes you just hit something. Like yeah, it just yeah. happened. Yeah, no, it exploded. Yeah, I just roll with it and I have a good time. And you know what? I'm able to have fun doing what it is. So I'm like, great. You mean I can drink for myself instead of having to make 800 cocktails for un, like, relenting people? I'm Never grateful. Had, ungrateful. That's the word. Never had to make 800 cocktails. Oh, bitch. Pride? I didn't go home. They 11 hour shifts. 11 hour shifts. I couldn't go home. Breaks didn't exist. They'd be like, did you take your break? Did you give me a break? Did you send anyone over to relieve me? No. What am I going to do? And then I had to sleep at the bar. I was there for three days straight. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Greg, where can people find you? Oh, they can find me on how to drink, but don't worry about it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, my friend Mac does the same thing. My friend Mac is like a big YouTuber. I go, where can they find you? He goes, they know me. They do. (laughs) Fuck yeah! It's not a flex, (laughs) man. I'm here to promote your shit. Yeah, he's over here like, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future ones. I've been the Matt Weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. Be sure to go over and check out Greg's Patreon, because we put out extra content over there. We did, but do you want to do that again so people can hear what you're saying? That was too fast. What do you got against Jojo Siwa? I'm going to tell her that you hate her and everything she stands for. Do you know her? Yes, no.
Yes. No. You want me over here? Special now. shout out to everybody over on Patreon, or if you're members to my YouTube channel, don't forget that I'm switching membership over to this channel from my Patreon. So be sure if you're not a member yet and you want to be, to do that right over here, especially the regulars and barflies. Y'all help make this channel possible. If that's it, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Mike from GTV, and you are fucking welcome. Goodbye. Wrong. If that's it, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Mike from GTV. This is Greg from Kinda Drink, and you are fucking welcome. Goodbye. I brought the drinks. Everybody's screaming my name at the same time.